Welcome back everyone. I'm going to do, a, I guess, a sort of a review on the fans I'm intending on using on my 280 radiator, which are ML140s, and why I've gone for those. Now, based on the previous videos I have uploaded, after uploading it, you've uh, managed to convince me to change my opinion. So, we'll see how, if these actually end up in the system. But this is why I've initially gone for ML140s, is essentially for their quality control. They're very expensive and they appear to be to have really good quality control and what I mean by that is that it turns out I'm actually a superhero. No, no seriously, I'm a superhero. Can't you tell? Um, I have unusually good hearing in respect to high frequency hearing so I can hear CRT monitors that emit a high pitch noise which is for you young people out there, you whippersnappers, that's the, the, the big, bulky, deep ones that your grandparents possibly have, or possibly not. Uh, and the insect repellents which use audio to repel insects, I can hear that. And so I'm very sensitive to high-pitched noises. Now, I have got many gentle typhoons and in all reviews that I've ever seen, pretty much, these have always been the best radiator fans. And better than the ML120s as well. However, these guys seem to emit a high-pitched noise. Now, it's not consistent. I've got at least 10 of these. Um, and I can just... I know, I've got a whole pile of them just here. And then I've got some over, over there as well. And they make a high-pitched noise. Now, the, the high-pitched noise that they are emitting is not the same. Um, as in, each one is different. And some of them don't make a noise at all. Some of them are the chosen few. Uh, now, I've tried to record this and get the noise on film, if you like. And I can't manage to record it and be able to play it back so you can actually hear it. I would suggest that 99% of the people wouldn't hear it and it wouldn't annoy them. But when I have 10 of them, this it makes slight noise. When you have 10, you know, multiply it by 10, the noise is really annoying. So these ones here, these being ML140s slash 120s, not that I actually have a 120, but I'm assuming the same, don't produce a high pitched high pitch noise. So the problem with it, like these guys, is that it's not the air volume, the air rushing past that you can hear, it's actually this high-pitched noise. Which these ones definitely don't. Now when it comes to radiators, I've never seen anyone talk about the problems with putting this kind of fan on a radiator. And this goes for the other Corsair fans, their um, static pressure uh, fans and the high flow ones. We're, now obviously it depends on the radiator let me just unplug that the radiator is generally square and yet we have these gaps so depending on the radiator the air can actually just go in through the fan and back back out through these notches which seems like a bad idea so I would think you'd want to run a shroud on these fans and it would be a, perform a lot better. Also they have these rubber uh, decouplers which is this little grey piece of rubber that sticks proud or up. Now obviously if you put that up against a radiator move that out of the way you end up with a large gap like a huge gap. So there again, you have the air going through the radiator, oh sorry, through the fan, and potentially some of it can just come straight back out through this little gap. So the whole idea with that is that it does work. So these rubber decouplers mean that you, you bolt the corners to the radiator or your case fan, and it allows the frame to flex, vibrate, and that vibration is not translated into the radiator slash case. 
but like I said that implies that the air can actually just go straight around the fan which can't be good for radiator cooling. Now I've investigated this even further and it's rather interesting. If you were to well, just pull these off because these come off and cut that grey bit down, the rubber bit, the top in if you were to mount the radiator against in like a pull mode there is no then there's then no gap okay but in pull, uh, push mode there is still a gap see you can see that gap now I've had a look if, and this this gray bit seems to be intentionally offset all the corners are slightly further off so when in push the gap is uh, even greater because it's it's got the gap from the suspension and then it's got these white bits that are also offset resulting in quite a large gap so I would think if I was ever going to uh, mount this to a radiator you'd want to build a shroud going along here Now you can buy the non-LED fans, now they do in a few non-LED ones. They do a black one, which has got black blades, and, and as far as I can tell it still has the suspension. But they also do a grey one, which is comes in a twin pack. Now people seem to mistakenly say it's the same fan, but just cheaper. It's actually not. If you go and look, the, it doesn't have these rubberized decoupling corners on the two pack. It annoyingly here they've they've cut a little slot in here, and as far as I can tell, they've done that to make it look the same, and that's why they're cheaper. But they would probably be better on a radiator, except of course they've intentionally made them look bad, in my opinion, because I don't know I don't know why anyone would want black and grey, but that's just me. So. For me to use these on a radiator, I'm going to have to build a shroud, and the idea is that I'm going to build a 3D print shroud, probably one just to make it up and over this rubbish, and then another one we can come around to build up the height for whatever whatever height you want. And I'm intending on making that available through my website, so anyone can just go and 3D print them. But I'm not sure when I'm actually going to do that. But that is the idea. Certainly nice looking fans. Uh, as you probably already know, they're PWM. And there's a huge range. Which I have not tested. From 400 to 2000 RPM. It's going at 2000 RPM. Which is not too loud. Like I could see that I could use that. Now I have a motherboard, funnily enough. And I have plugged these into the PWM port on my motherboard, which I currently use the motherboard to, in theory, PWM the voltage. Well, it doesn't PWM the voltage, it sends a PWM signal to the fan to adjust the fan speed. But my motherboard actually doesn't do that. It does reduce and increase the fan speed, but it actually isn't using PWM, it is reducing the voltage. So the lights get dimmer and brighter. Now I presume because of the magnetic levitation that that would be a bad thing to reduce the voltage from 12 because uh, I guess that would result in the levitation not working properly and running against something physically. That may not be true, oh, that is what other people have said though. It is possible that the magnetic levitation actually only requires 5 volts and therefore it still works perfectly fine um, can't confirm or deny that but the ML 140s look nice uh, they don't seem to have quality control problems so that's them hopefully you've enjoyed that it's, it's certainly a a different review of the ML series. I haven't gone on about how loud it is and how much air it puts through. There's plenty of reviews you can see on that and how the magnetic levitation works. 
but there's some interesting thoughts about using it on a radiator and that's why I haven't used the Corsair ones in the past because I've had this silly cut out here right I shall see you on the next one thank you guys bye bye